What's up guys? Today we're going to make a hum cancelling split coil. So the first thing we're going to talk about is the precision base split coil pickup that Fender started using in 1957. That's this design right here. It's a great design because you can use it for bass or guitar and it has a, a single coil like tone instead of a humbucker tone and it's completely hum free. So basically you just have a clockwise south up coil here and this is my negative lead wire and then you have a white lead wire connecting the two coils in series. Uh, this is a counterclockwise, so going this direction, north up coil and then the positive wire is leading from there. And um, the only problem with this design is that uh, in a neck or middle pickup, uh, if you're bending, you might actually lose some volume. It'll cut out if you bend past, if you like bend the G-string past here. Um, obviously this is for bass, but if you're using this on a guitar, uh, you would run into that problem. But you can still use this as a bridge pickup. And uh, on bass, it doesn't really matter too much because you're not really doing a lot of bending of strings anyway. So with this split coil here, uh, we'll be taking in a normal uh, Telecaster single coil and splitting it right down the middle. And this will be our clockwise coil over here. Clockwise south up, and this will be counterclockwise north up. Um, so we have a clockwise coil here, and we have a counterclockwise coil here. Uh, there'll be a couple extra eyelets uh, for the starts and finishes of each coil, but uh, it'll just have two leads like a normal pickup, and uh, it'll be completely hum free. So these are our parts. Uh, we have a base and three tops, and uh, you'll see the reason for that in just a minute. Uh, we have some .671 inch uh, Alnico 5 magnets, and a base plate. Um, the first thing we're gonna do is take two tops and cut them in half. Next we're gonna press our magnets into the bobbins and it helps to remember which one goes to which uh, just for fitment issues so they fit tightly. Might even help to put a little pencil mark right here to see remember. All right, so we've got our bobbins put together. Um, we've got enough room so that this will press into the bottom and the top piece will fit on. And uh, that'll cover that glue and stuff that's on there, just holding that together. So it'll have a really clean look when it's all done. Let's go ahead and wind these bobbins. The first side we're gonna wind is the clockwise south up coil. And uh, I'll go ahead and write that on there. CW for clockwise, CCW for counterclockwise. We're pretty much going to fill up the bobbin with wire. Um, for a brighter tone, you would use 43 gauge wire but we're gonna use a uh, 44 gauge wire here. Seven thousand forty one turns. I'm gonna keep this tape on the start just so I remember which one is which. Seven thousand twenty six.
All right, we'll charge our magnets. Clockwise is south up. And counterclockwise is north up. All right, we're just gonna glue our pickup together here. Now I'm gonna solder my eyelets here. I've got four eyelets, so I'm just gonna try to make it easy on myself. And for the clockwise side, start, finish. For the counterclockwise side, start, finish. So that'll put my black wire here, my white wire here, and the connector, the series connector, right in the middle. Let's test how much noise we get with this overdrive pedal. Let's compare that to my other guitar. This is the uh, Broadway Ridge pickup. You hear that low sort of hum. So that's how you make a hum canceling split coil. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, like and comment on the video, that helps other people see it. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Come again.